Uh, we're working on this new stuff, and I'll have stuff to show you as soon as it's um, soon as it's um, working. Hey guys, I'm just checking out some stuff on the dev build, and uh, I just want to show you a few things which I found out today. Uh, I'm going to come over here <clears throat> and just show us a couple new blocks. We got a rail rotator clockwise, which I did show before, but I didn't really know how to use it. We've also got the button, which uh, the button is a pulse cycler, or like I say, it's uh, the old the button that would turn itself off. Okay, you hit it and it turns off just like that. Um, right here, we've got the rail docker. This is the thing that produces the new beam, which you use to dock all of your uh, ships. So, for example, this thing here is docked using the rail docker. It's that block there in between the core and the rail. Uh, let's see, where have I got another one here? See this sort of fake ship here? Yeah, core and the rail. So that's what the rail docker is. It basically replaces the ship core dock beam at the moment. And then here's the rail basic, which is being used for the various tracks about the place. <clears throat> We've got our good old friend, the activation block. Going to the back row, we have the rail rotator anti-clockwise. So there's actually two new blocks for rotating things when they're docked on the rail. What happens is as you pass over the block, it will rotate you and send you on, okay? Uh, the wireless activation module we're going to show you as well. This is pretty awesome. Basically means you can hit a button on your ship and a docked entity will be hooked up to that. Okay, so you'll get, a, you'll get an effect. Um, and then finally the rail turret axis. We're going to show the rail turret axis real quickly because it's the easiest one to show. This is a small tower with a rail turret axis on top. We then have a median, a median ship. So all it is is a few blocks with a rotate another rotate on the side so we have one we have one turret axis here and we have another turret axis just here and then this is a rail docker and this is a rail docker so just looking at the whole thing okay and obviously I could have put another one on this side but just for the sake of speed I've just put one on this side so uh, then we have the actual turret. It's really small. I know it hasn't got any power or anything like that, but it's there for demonstration. So if I get in it, I'll have to not be in build mode. Get in. And then get into mode. There we go. So if I want to move my mouse around, I can aim around and I can do stuff as if I'm the turret. I did make it, put a camera in it. So we can get an even better view. Which I think that's pretty awesome actually. Whoa! Okay, <clears throat> so that's that. So let's move on to the other stuff. The other stuff which we found, um, I could probably do with being back inside the ship. Right. So, I did an elevator video recently which showed a couple of things and this is very much the same kind of system. So we've got a grid which could be floors, it could be the floor. Um, the only thing is at the moment you've got to have a separate system for this two on the floor. So if you notice I've got these little control pads which I'll show you how to make uh, in another video. But essentially it's a D-pad <clears throat> of activation blocks that touch the rails in each direction with a pulse, well sorry, the new button block on top so that when I click the button, if you can see the, uh, the, the rail there, you'll notice that all of the horizontal rails turn to that direction. So if I push it again, all the horizontal rails turn to the other direction. If I put it down, <coughs> again, all the horizontal rails, uh, sorry, the vertical rails will go. So let's just go back and up, and then left. And as you can see, it's going to program into that position. Another thing you might notice is that the lights are going off. So if I go send it to the right, you can see that the lights are triggering at the same time. And the way, the way that's done is round the back, I have a button which is touching the rail. Now the rail can sense when an entity goes over it and if you've got an activation block or as I can show here a button, the button's going to put out a pulse, <clears throat> the pulse goes into the wireless activation block and there's a wireless activation block paired to it 
on the uh, rail car, if you will, or the docked entity. And there it is at the front. There's the wireless uh, activation. Okay. And another button, button hooks up to the lights. So when it goes over that section of the rail, as you can see, there is an action. Okay, um, I must have hooked that one up wrong. But other than that, <coughs> so back we go. Okay, and that's a simple, um, simple application. So next thing we're going to move on to, which is loads of fun. As you can see underneath the uh, rotate, the co clockwise thing, uh, we've got a button attached to a bunch of lights. So when this goes across, and this is a bit weird because we've got a turner here. When it goes onto it, it's going to rotate it by 90 degrees. So if I just hit the button, it will send my little thing across and look, turn. And this is the point where I'm like, oh no, what's it doing? Because here, I'll just change the turn. Is it going to keep going now? There we go. Right. So <clears throat> it's going to send it across. It's going to turn it and keep it going. So uh, let's bring it back. Turn it again. Oh no, I've come out of it. Look at it. It's derping again. This is because I don't know. I don't understand what the arrows mean. Which way does it go? Yeah, it works now. <laughs> right. There are a few things I wanted to show you on that. Yep. So I'm still experimenting with this part of it. But effectively what I've got is a control switch that allows me to change. So if you look, see that there. Oh, I know it's quite far away. Am I really missing the middle of the screen? No, there we go. So it's changed it. I keep missing the middle of the screen. There. Changes it. Changes it. Can't see it. Changes it. So we can change the position that the rotates on and we can change all of the rails as well. Um, this could obviously be done from the car. So the first thing I did with wireless was the green lights on the car there. So if I use the button, it'll just to, just to prove that it works. There it is. I don't know what the range is on that, but the way it is actually done is when you're in astronaut mode, <clears throat> what you do is you put the wireless block next to the, so if I show you the linking here, I've pushed C on my activation block or button and then V on the wireless logic module. And then over here, I've hit C on the wireless activation module and V on the activation block, which I want it to trigger and then C on the activation block itself to actually turn on the light. So then what we do is we hit C on the wireless logic module and then V on, I go in the direction that I want the action to take place. So if the action's coming from over there, C on that one and then V on this one and you should get a message in the top right saying wireless logic blocks disconnected because I've already connected them so V and they're connected again now okay mine were already hooked up but you will just connect them and that's it and if I was to do it the other way around I could put my controller onto the entity which is riding the rail which is something I'm hoping to do soon so that you can literally steer the cart because if the cart can turn every rail on the track in any direction it pleases, at will, then you could quite easily steer it. But yeah, <clears throat> all it takes is a little bit of planning, guys. So that's where we're at in the current dev build. I'm sorry I couldn't show you any more about these turny blocks, but as you can see, it goes across, it hits the thing, it turns 90 degrees, but then for some reason I'm using the wrong rotation. So if I was to use that one, what's it going to do? It's going to go that. No, it's going to go back the other way. Oh, God. Look, it's just constantly rope. Well, put your turret on top of that, I guess. <laughs> oh, dear. I'm sure I'll figure it out. But at the moment, I can't figure out which arrow's which. So if you see here, we've got an arrow going that way and an arrow going that way. 
okay so if I go ahead and change everything to I want the cart to come over here then I'm just gonna go that one to set it that way go forwards and what's gonna happen it's gonna go back on itself hell yeah so that's where we're at then guys um, I'm gonna give you some more rail stuff as soon as I finish putting it all up so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time